Good morning, my sunshines. I worked out with Hannah this morning. We did a back day and it was really, really good. Um, but it was at 5.30 this morning. Like, oh my gosh, look at me. <laughs> when we walked out of the gym, my little horns here. Um, horns, stay down. Stay down. Okay, it's, you're just gonna have to deal with that this video, I'm sorry. Um, but when we walked out of the gym, it was still pitch black outside. And it's like getting lighter like as we get closer to spring um but we worked out from 5 30 to 6 30 it was crazy early and then i legitimately came home and went to sleep for like 35 minutes and then woke up and ate breakfast because i was just so tired when i got home so i thought i'd show you guys what i'm eating it's typical i bet you can predict it who wants to make a yes surprise it's Cody at cakes <laughs> with one tablespoon of Nutella spread between the three of them and then some light cool whip. And there's my little Toby, my little, oh no, no, don't come up here. Oh my gosh, he was gonna jump all over my Cody at cakes. Mommy would not have been very happy. Are you saying good morning? Yes, we love you too, okay. So I'm going to eat this for breakfast and then to take Toby to the potty and feed him his breakfast. Yeah, you know. And then Elena will be here and we're gonna work and I have this exciting package that we're gonna open and see what's in it. I know what's in it and I've literally waited two days because I wanna film like an unboxing of it because I'm so excited. So we're gonna open this package a little bit. It's gonna be really great. We're toning my hair. It's gonna be exciting reveal. Elena, just put some toner on it. It's looking a little brassy. Get ready to wash it out and I'll let you guys know what it looks like when I'm done. Hey guys, here's my toned hair. It is so pretty. This is like my perfect hair color. It looks like right when she did it. It gets so like brassy looking so fast, I feel like. So I'm gonna look for a blue shampoo. That's what Elena says that I need because my hair is like more orange than yellow. So if your hair is more yellow than orange, then you want purple. If it's more orange and yellow, you want blue. So I'm gonna look for that. And then we're gonna open the booty belt really soon. It's really gonna happen today. It's really gonna happen and that's it. So I ordered something special for my butt. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Okay, I'll show you what it is. I'm not gonna tell you yet. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna open it. I have been waiting. It is Friday. And it got here Tuesday? Yeah, it got here Tuesday. And I have not opened it because I wanted to do it on camera, but it's like never been the right time. And so now I'm opening it, finally. The booty belt. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, let's open and see what's inside. Now, I believe this was $99. Holy bananas. Okay, so we have two gray bandy things. Two black bandy things. Yep, the black ones are tighter than the gray ones. And then the pink ones, which I believe are the easier ones. Easiest ones, yes. Okay, with the belt. So the belt was attached to the pink ones. <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna be like you guys I'm never I don't even like know how to use this okay then they give you a drawstring bag that's cute wrong way this way so cute and then you get fitness secrets lean fitness secrets oh and they show you some things you can do with it okay so the pink are the beginner brands the intermediate bands are gray and the advanced are the black and then you get the knee pad, which actually this is really super cool that they give this to you. It's like a pad for your knees to put under while you work your booty. That's good, good find. Okay, then you have an instructional DVD, which mm, I'll figure it out. I'm not gonna watch that. And then safety instructions. And then the tote bag, okay. Look, it tells you how to do some stuff, which is good. I'm glad they give you this, and you don't just have to watch the DVD to figure out how the heck to use this. So let's try it. First thing, do they show you how to put the belt on? Mm, it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Let's put it on. All right, so it's like Velcro. It's just like a weightlifting belt. But it goes like right at the top, so like right here. I'm gonna put it through, and I don't think I ordered a size in this. Actually, maybe I did. Did. I did not, I did, yes, I did. So I think there's a small, medium, and large, and I ordered a size small, and I can confirm for you that it was $99, and it was $14.95 for the shipping. Okay, so I think it's tight enough. Okay, I think it's good. Looks like you don't really need tennis shoes for it, so. Okay, we're gonna try this thing out. 
Do you put these like around your ankles? <sighs> oh, it did show you how to put it on. It shows you the steps. Okay, so step one, Velcro the belt comfortably snug around your waist or hips. <sighs> okay, adjust booty bands accordingly. Bands should be slid to the middle of each glute. Okay, so the bands need to be in the middle of each glute. So, like right there. Mm -hmm. Elena's checking for me. <laughs> okay, middle of my butt. Okay, then step four, kneel down on either knee, okay? <laughs> Grab both sides of the r rubber tubing at the base of the foot straps. Pull firmly and place under the arch of your foot. Okay, so I gotta slide this a little bit, okay. Now this is Velcro too, so you undo this. Probably, and then you gotta pull it and you stand on it, okay? And then you Velcro it back up. And then you're literally like hooked to the F in. <laughs> See this right now? Okay, then it says, step six, get down on all fours. Shift your body weight to your elbows. Tighten core by pulling your belly button in towards your spine and engage your glutes. And then I guess we just start the work. Maybe I'm a pad. Yeah. So first one they have here are kick-ups. Oh. <laughs> this is really, this is crazy. Does it hurt? Um, I mean, there's definitely a burn. I don't know. Does it look, does it look normal, guys? My leg's really <laughs> struggling to stay down. Oh, wait. I know what I'm doing. There. I think it's supposed to be more like that. There. Now it's like not, okay, that's better. Okay, so make sure that your knee's like under your hips. So that you're not like struggling to keep your other toes down. I feel like Elena, you're laughing at me. <laughs> Am I doing this right? There's definitely a burn, you guys. My butt hurts. This is interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so I feel like this needs to be a little bit lower. So I just push it down, like just barely, not very much, okay? This thing is making me feel like a real beginner. I also don't know why you have to go on your elbows. I want to see what it's like. That's way more comfortable for me than being down on my elbows. And again, like everything that they're telling us to do, you can do it a different way, right? It doesn't have to be like exactly per the instructions. I want to play with this a little bit more and see if I can come up with some cool things. It's actually not that bad when you lay down. It's not that uncomfortable. It seems like this would be really uncomfortable, but it's really not. So, this bicycle crunches, definitely way more of a burn, like in your legs and in your core than when you do these normally. Okay, like, I mean, it like really, it's like really squeezes your butt, like really bad. I mean, I definitely feel them, but it's weird. You feel it like, Normally when I do those, I feel them here. And you feel them there, but you're so aware of how much resistance is on your legs. I think you get better at it with practice, but more so than like where I would normally feel it, I'm feeling it like in my quads and in my butt from having to hold those back, which I think is the point. Shameless plug, this is my Instagram if you guys wanna go follow it. Abby underscore Espen Shade. Booty Bell. 2,135 posts. Maybe we can get some good ideas. Okay, so she see, she's not putting her leg on the ground. Do you guys see that? I don't think you have to put your leg on the ground like the picture shows. That looks way more comfortable to me. Okay, so she's doing like a butterfly kick. And, oh, she took the other band off. Look at that. See, you, you can do whatever variation that you want with this. That's what's cool about it. I feel like those are going to be really good up and overs. I think that's what I would rather do is to take it off my leg. Let's go to the booty belt Instagram. See, they're doing straight leg kicks, but I didn't feel those. A lot of donkey kicks. Seeing a lot of donkey kicks. I want to see something different. Look here. These fire hydrants. Oh, crossovers. I bet those are good. I feel like, oh, here, this might be a good one. More donkey kicks. Okay, everybody. Thanks, Toby, for crashing my video. So many donkey kicks. 
get off the mat. <laughs> Crashing my video, dude. He is like. Those are straight legs. All right. We're gonna play with this like how I want to. I wanna like try a few things out. So, let's do this. I'm gonna take off this band. So you do not think that we need it. And one of my favorite banded booty exercises are up and over. So I'm gonna see if I feel them. I'll do about like 10. It's nice because not only does it engage like your glutes and your hamstrings, but you can really feel it in your quads because you're having to really extend it back. These are good. These feel good. All right, let's try the donkey kicks with the one banded. Wow, this makes so much more sense than doing it two banded. Or if I put the other band on, I would just keep it on my toes and keep it up like this instead of putting it on the ground. That's what's most comfortable for me. And also not going down on my elbows. I don't, I just don't feel a difference. And so it's more comfortable for me to be up here. Also, I do like the shorter kind of like in and out. That's kind of a cool move, especially for like glute hamstring tie-in. So like right here is really where you're gonna feel that. You're gonna feel most everything in your butt and in your hamstrings, but from extending it, if you put your hand on your quad, you're also gonna feel that part of your leg firing too, which is kind of nice. Fire hydrants. Not so effective with the booty belt. Those you want to do with like a circular band around your legs, but I'm wondering, let's just for the sake of it, grab another one. Because you can switch these bands out however you want. Let's just try this. Because say you want to do fire hydrants with these. You could just take an extra one with you and put it around your knees. And then your knees just can't be like super close together. Oh, no, I don't think it's gonna stay. You could do really short little pulses, but actually that works pretty well, but if you open it up all the way, because it's a circular band, not a flat band, it will roll up. I'm curious, I thought there were so many things that you could do with this, but it doesn't seem like there are. I'm kinda disappointed. That's like super hard for me. Does that look hard? It's like really hard and it's squeezing me so tight, this thing. And I don't know if you, you don't flip them around. And she was, I guess she was laying down on it. So yeah, that's easier. And these are good. Like you can literally, oh my God, can you see them shaking? You can literally like see, look at my leg shaking. And you can like feel it in your quad. So for core moves, that's kind of nice because your legs are more involved than they normally would be. So you're working them a little bit more. I'm like actually sweating. Okay. Okay, so I did a little bit more research because I was determined to find something else that you could do with this besides just donkey kicks and straight leg kicks. So you can't do a fire hydrant. What you can do is like half a fire hydrant and then kick out and you'll still feel it right where you would feel a normal fire hydrant. So if you go, and again, a lot of people are doing these like this. I am gonna say I don't really feel a difference between doing them here and here. They really feel, oh, that actually feels super good. If you have a booty belt and you've never done this one, try it, it's awesome. I get like, my legs are shaking like everything that I do. I don't know if you guys can see it, and my hip is already like on fire. The other thing is if you stand up, take one out and stand up so you're kind of like on one leg, it's super awkward, but okay. You can do like a standing leg kick back. You're just gonna have like one leg in a holster and then when you wanna switch, take it off and put it on the other one. You can only wear one at a time when you're doing these. But you can kind of like bend over as far as you wanna go and kick up as high as you wanna go or you can kick lower. It's like whatever you want, whatever you wanna focus on with your glute. And from here actually, you can kind of do like a negative hamstring curl. I don't know if you can see it like shaking, but if you straighten it, and then really slowly bring it up, you'll feel your hamstring firing. So it's kind of like almost a reverse hamstring curl. Slash leg extension. Huh, wonder. Oh my God, do you see that? 
is freaking out. So you can kind of do, oh my gosh, this is like so hard. You can do a leg extension, but I can't go all the way out. My leg is shaking, but you're, you could do a standing leg extension because why not? Okay, so how long do you think we were filming that for? Fire. 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. 10, 15 minutes. Look at my feet. Can you guys see? It like really, I would... Like, I don't know. I don't think I would ever wear it with socks. I guess I, I would wear it with socks and shoes if I was at the gym doing it. But I don't know. I would maybe recommend recommend it because, like, it really, like, dug in. When I took it off, it, like, really hurt. Final thoughts on the booty belt. So, or kind of, like, first impression thoughts. I still want to play with it and see um, if I can get it to work better. I want to keep, like, showing you guys um, videos with it and doing some different exercise with it and playing with it and see kind of like what I come up with because I was really just testing out the ones that they give you here and I did search on Instagram to see if there was anything there that I should try out and test for you guys and there were a few um, but I think I could come up with some cool ones for you. Overall first impression I do like it. Um, I think it's really interesting. I think that it's something if you just want something good for um, like if you're just doing donkey kicks with it and you don't really want to experiment anymore with it, I mean, you can buy bands for $10, like just straight up bands that would help with donkey kicks and whatnot, um, just to go around your legs. And I think that just for that, this isn't worth it. I mean, this is a hundred dollar product, you guys. Like this thing, this thing isn't cheap. And it comes with, you know, it does come with six bands total of three different levels of resistance and the belt and the DVD and everything. Um, but it's not just like a, a cheap product. It's not... I think, though, that it is probably really good for building your booty, um, especially having the different levels to go up. I think you just have to figure out what's the right way to have it work for you because what's comfortable for me, I don't think is going to be comfortable for everybody. So you have to find your comfortability level with it. I don't think I would use this, like, really ever for abs. Um, I think I would just use it for glute exercises. But even just playing with it for the 10 minutes that I did and doing some research onto what you can do, I think I came up with about 10 different exercises I could do with this and find really good use out of and so I do see myself using this a lot more than my circular bands um, if I'm doing like a full like kind of booty day at home or if I want to just do some booty moves at home this would be a good piece of equipment to have especially if you're working out just at home now if you work out at the gym I don't think this is 100% necessary because there are so many machines that can do the exact same thing that this is doing but for at home um, it's probably going to get more use um, I don't know. It's really interesting. I want to keep playing with it and seeing how I continue to like it and if I'm seeing any results from it. Um, so I'm going to keep trying it out maybe today and see if I can get like sore from it for tomorrow. And as I come up with new exercises, I'll make sure to post them on my Instagram. So make sure that you follow me there. I do upload videos of different exercises like using gym equipment, at home stuff. So I will leave it below. It's just Abby underscore Esbenshade. And yeah, so I don't know. Oh, this is an extra small, small. It's a size 23 to 28 inch waist. <clears throat> I don't know. Overall, it's really well made. You can't like argue with that. It's a really well made product. I definitely didn't get it and think, why did I pay $100 for this? Um, and I think it could really help. It, it's going to escalate any kind of at-home booty move that you're doing. So if it's standing kickbacks, donkey kicks, fire hydrants, I think this you'll do them better with this and you'll have better results with it. Um, it's just whether or not it's worth the $99. Um, and right now my opinion is that if you work out in a gym, it's probably not. If you work out at home, it very well might be, especially if you don't have any other bands like this. Um, so those are my first impressions. I'm trying to think if I left anything out. Did I leave anything out? I would probably use something like this at least every other day. Um, maybe every day, especially when you're in, if you're in competition prep season, or if you're, you know, really focusing on your lower body. I think using this like every other day, maybe every day for one or two exercises would be okay. Um, I mean, unless you're sore, you really can use it. Um, it's actually not very complicated to like put on, especially like once I put these on my feet and now they fit, I'm not gonna like undo them and put them on every time. You can just like slide them over your toes and it's really quick to put it on. It's just like using a weightlifting belt or something like that. Um, and it is comfortable to lie on which I definitely didn't think it would be. Like laying down on it, I thought, because you know, you have these two things right in the back and I thought they would kind of dig in, but I think because they're resistance bands, they like, and they're 
um, rubber. They flatten a little bit, so it really isn't uncomfortable. I don't really have a verdict on it. I'm gonna have to keep testing it out. I don't have a 100% like buy or don't buy yet. Um, I think it's a probably a good buy if you wanna do a lot of different things with it and you're working out just at home. I think it's a very like maybe buy if you're working out at the gym um, because I think that a lot of machines can do exactly what this is doing or you can do them with other types of bands. So that's what I got for you. I will keep updating you guys as I test it out. I hope that you enjoyed this video and all the weird footage that I got for you. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Stay tuned for lots more videos. I've got a really fun video coming on Monday and my birthday is one week from today. I'm gonna be 28 and I'm very excited. Birthdays are my favorite. I celebrate all week. That's part of Monday's video. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time. Mwah.